that you should stop trying to sell AI automations if you're trying to make money with AI. What you should be selling instead are complete AI systems. I'm sure you probably have heard about this around 1 million times now. But why is selling AI systems so much better than selling simple automations? And why can you charge so much more for them when they are almost the same thing? And spoiler, it's not because of the front end interface you build with Lovable in 5 minutes. Well don't worry because that is exactly what I'm going to answer in this video. So by the end you will know how to transform your offer from selling AI automations to selling AI systems and be able to charge significantly higher prices. So let's get into it. As I said before, you probably have heard a lot of people say that you shouldn't be selling AI automations and you should only be selling complete AI systems. But why is that exactly? Why are AI systems so much better than simple AI automations? Well to answer this question, the first thing that we have to do is to define what AI systems actually are because everyone seems to be throwing this word around without defining it and people use it in a bunch of different ways. So the definition that I think is the most accurate about AI systems at least in the angle that we're talking about them in the AI and automation community are basically a lot of AI automations packaged together with a nice looking front end interface which means that one AI system includes a lot of AI automations and all of these AI automations are connected in one simple interface that a client is going to be using. So now that we defined it let's go back in our initial question over here to why AI systems are better than AI automations and why you're able to charge a client so much more money when you sell them an AI system. Well I can tell you one thing it's not because it's a different name it's also not because it's some form of different technology and it's definitely not because you just build a front end interface in five minutes with an app like Lovable or Bold.new. It's simply because when you're selling an AI system you're selling to a completely different avatar of customer and specifically you're selling to a customer that is not technical which means that that person doesn't want to bother thinking what systems would help his business grow save money make money etc etc either because he simply does not want to or because he doesn't have the time and he has to focus on other activities inside his business which means that when you're selling AI systems you're not selling just the AI automations you're selling AI automations along with a strategy and what do I mean by that guys is that you are the one that decides what automations you need to build in order to achieve the result that your client would want and that is the sole reason why you're able to charge three to five times the price you normally could charge someone if you were just selling them a JSON file for example of an automation because when you sell AI systems which means that you are the one that decides what nodes you should use how you should use them what services you're going to use what third-party APIs you're going to hit and basically you are the person that maps out the automations and then takes all of them and brings them together in a nice and easy to use system while if you sell the automation to somebody else he's actually the one that understands what kind of automation he needs and how to use it in his business to drive a very big ROI which in this scenario you are not the expert he or she just needed someone to do all the dirty work for them and trust me guys you do not want to be that someone because in a perfect world you would be the expert and if you were the expert obviously means that you would be able to charge three to five times more for almost the same amount of work simply because you're selling something to a person that is lacking the knowledge that you have and guys this isn't a scam the business owner could actually go there and spend his valuable time and get all the knowledge that you have as well but guess what he's not willing to do that because he's busy running his business that's why he's willing to pay you the extra money because he perceives you as the expert and he expects you to take a problem that he has create a system that solves it and then deliver him this system he doesn't want to be above your head telling you oh I think you should use this tool I think you should hit this third party API I want it to be built in make.com or I want it to be built in any 10 like if the business owner doesn't tell you any of these guys he leaves it completely up to you unlike somebody that specifically asks for an any 10 automation for example as I said before they usually give you very specific instructions of how they want the build to happen and because they also know that systems that might seem complicated to a non-technical person most of the time they're not that hard to build and they do not take so much of your time they offer you significantly lower prices simply because they know you're not going to be spending 20 hours on a system you're actually going to be spending only two while the business owner that has no technical knowledge he might think that for you to build him a system like that it might actually take you 40 50 60 hours that's why he's willing to pay such a premium but i do want to preface this guys it is not all sun signs and rainbows because if you're the expert with the knowledge the systems that you build are expected to deliver results which means that what along with the extra money also comes extra responsibility and risk because if you sell 
sell an AI system to someone and you were the one that designed it to double the client's bookings, for example, it is also your responsibility for your system to actually deliver this result. Well, if you're simply selling an automation to someone who specifically told you, hey, I want an automation that uses an AI agent and then it uses Twilio to send messages and then saves all these messages inside the Google Sheet, then your only responsibility would be to deliver an automation that is working and is following these instructions. Whether this automation is completely useless for the business and drives zero results does not concern you, simply because you did exactly what he told you to do since he was the one that came up with the idea for the automation. Or in other words, he was the orchestrator and you were the person that was doing the dirty work, we might say. So I think now you should be able to understand the difference between selling automations and selling AI systems. And just to recap, they are the client avatar that you're selling to, usually if somebody asks you for a specific automation, he's a technical client and he has knowledge of tools like N10, May.com, he knows about APIs, etc, etc, and he just wants someone to build his vision. Wow, if your client is a non-technical client that does not know about N10, Make, APIs, HTTP requests, and all of these things, then he expects you to actually come up with a plan and the full system of how you can drive him results, which means that for this extra knowledge that you have, you can charge him a premium price. So that's why you're able to charge usually three to five times the price to a non-technical client, while if the client is technical and basically gives you specific instructions, they usually tend to pay significantly less than the non-technical clients. And that is because the non-technical clients are also buying the knowledge that you have and they are lacking themselves. And not because you just build a nice looking front and interface with Lovable in five minutes, like many people seem to suggest. But don't get me wrong, building a nice looking front and interface is very important, especially when you're working with non-technical clients, simply because they don't know how to use platforms like anything and make which means that even if you go and build them the system, they're probably not gonna be able to use it simply because they're going to think, oh, this is too technical and I cannot actually use it myself because I'm not a technical person. So building a front end interface with an app like Lovable and Bold New is very important and you should always do it simply because if you don't, your automations are going to be almost unusable for your clients. And of course, if they cannot use it, they're not gonna be willing to pay you. But again, this is just a cherry on top that you can do in like five or 10 minutes. The main thing that they are paying you for is for the knowledge to craft all those different systems and package them together in a way that actually solves a problem that they have in the business. So these are the reasons why selling AI systems is actually superior to selling simple AI automations. Make sure you click the link in the description and you come and join my school community. In which I show you exactly how you can sell these automations. I show you how you can do that by using Upwork, cold email, and by building an audience on YouTube and on Instagram and then leveraging this audience to sell them your automations. And in my opinion guys, these two are the best ways and the most high leverage ways to sell your automations because if you build an audience you're not going to be the one that is chasing the clients the clients are actually going to come to you and ask you to build them automations so if you're interested in all of this content along with getting access to more than 150 members that are interested in ai and most importantly making money with it make sure you click the link in the description and you come and join my school community and i will be waiting for you inside but now if you want to learn how you can sell ai systems the right way and avoid the most common mistakes that beginners usually make make sure you go and watch this video and i will see you over there